السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته آه, نستكمل chapter 2 lesson 4.2 represent addition of decimals okay basically in this lesson we, we are working on the grid okay so this is the decimal grid it means you will show you will color the grid you need to find the sum or the difference okay but this lesson uh, is only on the sum so these lines uh, represent the tenth the squares represent the hundredth okay now we will use coloring to find the sum i will solve it in two ways addition regular addition without the grid and i will use the grid okay 0 0.7 plus 0 0.1 so what is the sum use the decimal grid first number is 7 tenth so i will color 7 lines from this grid okay now plus what 0 0.1 so in the same grid not the other one i will color one line we will add all of them how many lines you color eight but how you will represent the answer we know that we have here whole number decimal point tenth tenth the 10 include one zero. So the tenth is one digit after the decimal. Yani the answer is 0 0.8. Okay. You should have the eight after one decimal because this is tenth. So the answer is 0 0.8. Let's take this one. 0 0.5 plus 0 0.8. We will color five lines. Okay, try to use different colors. Plus 0 0.8. So we'll color eight lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, if you notice, the first grid is fully colored. So this one is one hole. This one is one hole. Point and how many lines here are colored? Three. So it means one and three tenth. One and three tenth. Right. If you want to use regular addition, take only the number, okay, without the decimal. Five plus eight e equals thirteen. Right. How I will put the decimal point? Where I will put it? This is a tenth, not hundred. So the tenth is only one number after the decimal. Yani from the right count one step. Here is the decimal point, okay? So 1.3, you are allowed to put only one number after the decimal because this is 10th, okay? 10th. Now let's take example on the hundredth, okay? The hundredth has how many zero? Two zeros. So you are allowed to put after the decimal two digits after the decimal point two digits now we will take this grid how many how many squares i will color two and from the other part nine so i will color this is ten so i will color only nine you can count how many squares uh, all together colored you will find two plus nine equal eleven okay we have 11 squares, okay? Right. How I will uh, put the decimal point? 2 plus 9 equal 11. Okay? This is 100. So you are allowed to have two numbers uh, after the decimal. So from right, we will count. 1, 2. We put the decimal point 0. So 0 0.11. The answer is 0 0.11. Now this one, 0 0.78 plus 64. If you color this one, I think it will be fully colored. Okay, I will not color it because it will take time. So you will color it. Uh, this one, use different color from this one, okay? So 678, I will use the addition strategy, 78 plus 64, without the decimal. Eight plus four equal what? 12 so 2 is here we carry up the 1 
7 plus 1, 8. 8 plus 6, 14. Okay? Since this is a hundred, so how many numbers after the decimal? We are allowed to put two numbers, okay? So 42 are here. One will go here, okay? And if you want to return back the decimal, count from the right. Since it's hundred, yani two decimal, two zeros. One, two. So what is the number now? One and 42 hundred. This is how we read the number, okay? Let's take this example. Now I will answer without coloring, without the grid. Five plus six equal 11. We know that, but here I have decimal, 10th. How many decimal or how many number after decimal in 10th? You are allowed to put only one number after the decimal. So I have here 11, so one is here, one is here. So the answer is 1.1, .1. okay?